found any easy tree problem than that uh, then this one let's see the problem says the problem simply says that we are given a binary tree named even odd and it means the following condition will satisfy the root of the binary tree will be at a level index zero which means okay i will start with a level zero then level one then level two and so on and so forth okay great and it just says the same thing okay zero it's child one is child two and so on and so forth the level is increasing like this now for every e for every even index level as you can see the level will start from zero then one then two in a in a in a in a simple tree how a level goes in okay i can have a tree like this right uh that tree like this so this is the level two this is level one this is level zero now uh for every even index level which means level which are having even indexes zero two four and so on and so forth the statement is very important here that all nodes at the level have odd integer value in strictly increasing order so these are two conditions which both needs to be satisfied this question is only tricky because and only medium because of its statement that they are not having and they are having this in condition which is very unlikely that you will see it very casually like this means that all integer value in strictly increasing order which means that at an even level you need to have all integer value that's the first condition and all those all integer values needs to be in strictly increasing order again i am saying all values at a level at an even level needs to be odd then that is odd okay next is that all the values if they are odd for sure they need to be in the increasing order and the same way for uh for odd level index that all the values should be even which means in at this level one level three and so on and so forth all the values should be even and they should be strictly decreasing order so for sure we are, talk we are talking so much about the levels and stuff and okay the ultimate aim is that maksat i mean you the ultimate aim is that uh, we are given the root of the tree and we have to return the true if it's actually a even odd else written the false now as we're talking so much about the level 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 for sure one thing will strike in the mind that aryan <laughs> we will go level wise so i will initially have a level of zero see to go level wise we know that we have a bfs algorithm now if we want to go level wise if you have a bfs algorithm we'll go okay at the first level i will have okay i will keep track of the level i am at because in in bfs you go on the level wise so you can also keep track of at which level you are and if the level you will do a level more to right if that thing is a zero which means the level is even else it is a odd level now in even level you know and in a bfs you always iterate level wise so you will have in the queue all the elements which you need to pass for that level then you would have all these elements which you need to pass for this level you just have to do one check that all these elements should be odd and other thing is that when you are iterating on all the elements one by one just keep on checking that it should be okay if the level is even then all the elements should be odd and it should be increasing which means that current element should be greater than the previous element right if the level is even if the level so if the level is odd because here it, the level was even level was even here here the level is all odd then all the values all the values should be even and also it should be strictly decreasing which means current should be less than my previous are in what is previous previous you can by default put the previous as some like for even you can put the previous as by default very some very small value and for odd you can put previous as very high value again we'll see how this everything will happen but this is that okay it should satisfy for all the levels but i have to return true and false so okay we can have it one thing that at a even level which means when the level when the level is even even I can do, and that's the reason. Like my writing is so bad that I have to write it pre-hand, pre-hand. But that's, but this question is pretty easy, so we can actually see that. Now, for an even level, we saw that okay, all nodes in that level should be odd, and my current should be more than my previous. So I can just simply say that either uh, my any node becomes even in this level, any node, any node is even, then simply return a false, or return false, or or if my current is less than equal to my previous then i also also the, then also i can return a false and the same way for this specific when the level is odd i said that all nodes should be even and current should be less than my previous then i can say okay if any nodes become if any node become odd at the odd level then i can simply return a false or or 
if my current becomes more than or equal to my previous then also i should simply return a false and ultimately if for every level which means either even odd even odd even odd and go on so on and so forth if none of them returns a false ultimately i can return a true and that's the only thing which i have to do let's see with the example itself so you can see uh, in the first in the queue you will have these elements again you know how a bfs is traversed if not then just write on google or uh, so on youtube that bab graph series by adam Hinton. And then in that you will easily see that we have taught BFS DFS very easily. And again, if you have been following us, so for sure you must be knowing BFS DFS for sure. If even if it has been a month, even if it has been a week also, you should, you must be knowing for sure. Now uh, coming on back that we will have we will simply push back this first value then in my queue, and I will have to iterate. Okay, it is odd, and also it should be strictly increasing. Okay, next level. Level, I, I'll keep track of the level itself. Okay, level is odd. Okay, all the values should be even and they should be strictly decreasing also. That is also good. So, here I will take previous as something as int max. Right, here I'll take previous as something as int min. And thus I'll keep on checking. Okay, for the next level, I want all the values should be odd and also it should be strictly increasing. So, here also previous is int min int min and then strictly increasing and for the last level which means level 3 again i'll keep track of the level number also because i need to know what level it is at now previous is again uh, my int max and it should be strictly decreasing and you can see this decreasing so for every of them it never returned a false again false condition to return is this one which we saw here it never returned a false so for sure it's a 2 now uh, what can be a case when it returns a false so you can see for this specific level uh, okay that's great it's odd value and strictly increasing uh, it's even value and strictly uh, decreasing uh, it's it's odd value good 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 but it is not strictly increasing sorry bro uh, answer is false okay uh, for this value okay uh, level zero even level odd values okay great strictly increasing great uh, Okay, level one needs it, it needs to have even values and strictly decreasing. Okay, even oh bro, it is odd values. Sorry, bro, return or false. So anytime you encounter some con a condition which actually makes your everything false, simply return or false itself. Now the code is exactly very same of that of BFS. That firstly we grabbed the queue and pushed the front like root, root of the queue, which means the top node of the queue, and then I will have is even because I know that. In the very beginning, my level is zero. So is even is true. This is the level. This is the level. Is even is true. Next time, I'll just flip that. I know the next level will be odd. Next level will be even. Then odd, even, odd, even, odd. So rather than keeping the count of my level, I'll keep okay even. And then you will see next time. Next time, as soon as I will where it is going. Yeah. Next soon. Next next time, as soon as my next level will come in, I will flip my even. It is next level will will be okay opposite of the current even is even if the is even is true in the very beginning next will become a false next will become a true next will become a false true false true false okay cool uh, now when now we will do a simple BFS traversal in which while your queue is not empty you grab the size of the queue why the size is required added because we want to only pass that specific level node that's it because what happens in a queue is that if you are using a queue and at the current level you have let's say these three nodes for example these have all these childs so you want to only pass this specific level but when you will pass the first node now so you will push its child also in the queue when you will pass this node you will push all the, 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 the childs of this also in the queue so what you see is queue kept on increasing while you are parsing the queue itself so you have to firstly before even starting to parse you have to you have to restrict the size of the queue that bro only parse this specific thing this is the current level next thing whichever is coming in is for the next level not for this level so i will just simply make it stop now um i have the size i'll keep track of the previous as i showed you but i also said that previous it entirely depends upon if it is odd or even level which means um uh, if my level or if my level is even that my previous is intimate else it is intermax so i am keeping track of my level is even or odd by this is even so i can simply say if my is even is there then a previous is intimate else it is intimax right okay then i will iterate on the current elements of that specific level which means while my size is not equal to zero i'll grab the current element simply pop it out and then i told you the condition for false for false can be that okay if it's an even level and the node 
is also even because you remember in the even level okay if i go above in the even level we want the node should be odd and the current should be more than previous so any condition which will not satisfy which means at the even level if the node becomes even or if the current becomes less than equal to previous then anything i will return a false so i'll do exact same stuff that it might if my current level is even and my current node value is also even or again this is a or or it becomes less than equal to my previous which means my current value becomes less than my less than equal to my previous then throw simply return a false and the same way for odd if the current level is odd and again if the current level is odd i expect the values to be even and a strictly decreasing order but if the value become odd or it becomes in strictly it, it becomes an increasing order bro sorry why bro return a false and uh, if not then uh, simply assign your previous node to the current node because you will simply move on move on move on so previous is assigned to the current node that you can actually move on because you cannot um now uh what will happen is that you will check okay if you have a left just push that left node in the queue if you have a right just push the right node in the queue and simply you will keep on moving and that's how it's a simple bfs traversal with a slight addi like addition of a condition which we have put in here and here we need a previous which is a condition ad added we need a level for which we need to know the level is odd or even and we just need to parse that level and just to know okay previous and level we'll just use that to find out if it is a odd even tree or not and ultimately please make sure to reverse the sign of is even because next node will be opposite 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 parity of the previous node and ultimately if you had never encountered a false above simply return a true and that's how you can see the time is o of n spaces o of n also again now this question you have solved it's the most intuitive way to solve this because the problem screams of bfs why it can also be solved by dfs also if you want you can try it and comment down the approach below if you want to solve it by dfs but i did not teach the dfs approach because of the reason that it's highly intuitive not to even think about dfs in this approach oh yeah if that would be great if you can explain again not even just the code but also a slight explanation of how the dfs will work because for the community people should know okay how the dfs can work and also uh, how we can actually implement that. Bye-bye.